the Terminator story. Yeah. And I felt that, you know, Cameron was was very soulful as well in her own way. You know, I, I loved the idea in the second season of really getting to explore if the Terminator can love. Yeah. And um, I, I could not have been more thrilled with my storylines. I, I, I don't know how. I'd love to see inside his mind just for one day, but yeah. I, I very, very much loved the character. You all think Cameron could kick the butt of Arnold's uh, T-800 Terminator? <laughs> So uh, on the floor. Do we have one on the floor? Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, I was wondering what it's like to work with Nathan Fillion. What's the most fun? <laughs> What's the most fun part about? And what, if anything, is the most frustrating part? <laughs> Big brother, dot dot dot. <laughs> no, I, I love him, and I will say, you know, as, as I was saying about the, the cast in general and how generous they were with me, Nathan definitely set the bar for our our morale and our um, our attitude on set. He always made it fun. He always wanted to be there. He loved the show so much, and. Um, his work ethic is just at the top, and I yeah. think that um, when 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 the when the captain has a certain way of working and a certain attitude, it really it spreads to the rest of the group. So that's what I would say about Nathan. I'm forever grateful to him for setting such a good example and teaching me also how to be a good host. Because when you have a lot of guest actors. Um, I know because I've been one so many times, it makes a huge difference how the, 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 the cast receives you. Look <laughs> at <laughs> going. Go. That's awesome. <laughs> Are you looking for a seat? <laughs> no, you don't need me. Don't lie. You don't have to be bored. <laughs> no, you're just looking for a seat. Uh, can't get no respect. <laughs> I'm on set of Firefly like you. I, I still enjoy watching the show, and I always wonder, more so, more so than a lot of other series that I've seen, I wonder what it's like on that set. It was crazy. Constant, constant pranks. Yeah. And um, I actually would stay even after I was done some days. I didn't want to leave. I, I loved being there, and, and um, we had such a great time. But I never played any tricks on anyone because I always tried never to break the rules. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I was always scared to break the rules because, you know, I was just barely hanging on there as, like, you know, the new kid, so. <laughs> Even if you were being broken around you? Yeah, it yeah. Didn't, I never participated. Ever. I have a serious journalistic question. I'm a journalist. If Cameron from Terminator and River Tam from Firefly <laughs> had a girls' night out, <laughs> girls' night out, what would they do? Worst idea ever. <laughs> <laughs> Tough question. Count me out. <laughs> no. What would they do? You know, movie? They probably, maybe they'd have like arts and crafts night. They'd do some stuff. <laughs> 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 oh, right. Watch a Calgary Flames game? <laughs> uh, I'm not a sports guy, so I'm <laughs> Uh, another question from the, uh, from the floor. Should we go back up here? Hello, sir. Hello, my name is Daniel. Great work all, the while, all around the summer. My question is, um, on a warm day, what's your favorite beverage to drink? <laughs> another journalistic question. I actually have a Pellegrino addiction. Hold on. I always carry one with me, and look, today's no exception. I'm not going to think of that too. Thank you so much. You should see if they'll give you money for that. <laughs> oh, I love that. There's so many cases of it. Yeah, I go through my, I, um, I'm embarrassed by my habit. That's my favorite drink. I'll share some with you later. <laughs> Uh, should we head back up to the other side here? 
I've lost our yellow shirt. Oh, right there. Hey. Um, hey, um, my name is Josh, and for starting this summer, I think you're an amazing actress. I have followed all your roles and all your things. Over here. Over here. Hi. Um, what I wanted to know was, you, you said you did ballet, and so in Serenity, we got the privilege of seeing uh, River being a real badass and kick some ass. So, did your ballet help you in learning all the fight scenes and everything? Well, I think technically it helped me, but it also made it harder because they they wanted me to learn how to do the fight scenes myself because they, they thought I could. So it was a lot of extra work. I probably should have acted like I didn't know how to do it. Thank you. Thank you. No, it was, it was really hard. I remember the first day when um, the, we met the stunt coordinator, Joss went with me and the producers were with me. It was like... It was like mom and dad taking me to my first day of karate, and um, they were like, you can do it, honey. And I, I went out there and I did some moves for the, for the stunt coordinator, and then they put me into to pretty much six months of, of intensive training. And I, I remember the first class they made me go to was out in Alhambra, which is really kind of far from LA, but it was the best place for me to learn wushu, and it was this incredible teacher who was teaching basically an army of 12 to 14 year old boys. <laughs> and they, they laughed at me and they pointed and, and um, I, it was out in the park. Out in the park in the summer. And it, was, I, it was humiliating, but I, you know, it makes you tough. It made me tough. 12 year old boys. So thanks, cruel. boys. Thanks so <laughs> I want to ask you about the fighting, though. Now you, you have all this fight training, and I read that for your part of, uh, of Orwell in the Cape, they actually got you to kick more ass than they originally intended because you were cast in the role. So do you find now that when you go for a role or that you get a role, they're like, let's make her, let's make her kick some butt at some point. Yeah, but I always say, Where's, where, where are the guns? Let's, let's get going here. And I was asking that at action. Really, it, 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 maybe because I was a dancer, it makes me feel safe, and I always, I always, start the approach to my characters from a physical place because I, I think that's where I feel safe. So I always ask them to add more action. I, it makes me feel like it's real somehow. Bring it on. But it's not, we're safe. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, should we go back to the floor? Uh, hi. Uh, um, over here. <laughs> hey! hey. There's a question um, about your voice work in uh, Batman Super Apocalypse. Uh, that was your first voice acting role, I believe, so how do you enjoy that as opposed to live action work? I loved it. I didn't think that I didn't think that it was gonna be for me. I, I was surprised that they asked me to do it and um, it, it's a it's its own technique and I really enjoy focusing completely on my voice because I, it's much more uncomfortable for me than the movement and, and expression. Uh, I, I learned a lot from that experience because all I had was my voice, and, and um, I had I ended up having a blast. I, I got to scream, talk with my lungs all day, and I um, I just really experimented with it. And um, you know, then there's a part where I turn evil, and she's a different voice, and then it was it was really wonderful. I'd love to continue with that great learning experience. I, I always get a kick out of it when you see the behind-the-scenes footage for animated films and TV shows, and it's the actor at the, the, the mic. So do you find, because of your experience with dance and with, with fight choreography, that, that while you're doing it, you're kind of moving around? Yeah, it really helps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little kick here and there. Yeah, I just got to be careful because it, it changes the, the quality of the sound. So I didn't, you know, I would just do little movements, little, little you know, contained. But movement does help. If you try doing it at home, you can really you would um, see what I'm right. <laughs> uh, let's head up there. Is there a question up there? Let's go over here. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Um, hi, Summer. Hi. I am. Are you nervous? Yes, very. <laughs> Don't be. <laughs> Um, okay, as a Joss Whedon fan, I've been Joss many times, and I was wondering what your strongest, you know, uh, reaction to a script. 
that you're just like, what? I can't believe he did that. Or, you know, something like that. <laughs> you, re you referred to it as being Joss? Yeah. I, I like that. <laughs> so, the first, was there any point where you read a script and you were Josh? You just had the rug pulled out from under you and you were like, what? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, and script day was always the most fun day because we would um, still be having to look like we were focusing on the scene we were shooting, but in between takes, you know, hide your script somewhere and be looking through it because Joss is. Joss can really, really. Um, he can really pull the rug out from under you, and he, he does it constantly. And we still joke about, I can't believe Wash died at the end of the like, did you know that, <laughs> that Wash died at the end of We still send each other emails about that. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, he, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell him you said that. I'm going to tell him about the Joss. That's good. You've been Joss. <laughs> Can I ask you about your, um, did everybody see someone on the Big Bang Theory? Woo! Terminator, you coming? Great episode. Can I ask you a bit about that? Was it cool to go on on that show? Because I mean, that's a show that I think is kind of about a, a lot of us in this in this room. So, was, was it cool to get to go on that? I'm not as smart as I. I was nervous. That I I had never done comedy before, and again, Josh came with me. Josh Friedman, I was shooting Terminator at the time. He came to my first table read. Like he was, you know, dad taking taking the. the little acting student to her first comedy tape party <laughs> and um, I tried to make her proud but I was just not very funny and I was I was supposed to be myself but of course I, I wouldn't act the way that myself acted on that show but they kept saying you know you want to make it funny and I was like I think she's being mean and I don't <laughs> I don't want people to think I'm mean and um, so it was hard it was a hard balance and, and the boys kept making me laugh I kept ruining take after take was that I, I think I'm a better um, observer than than participant in, yeah. in comedy. Oh, all of them, all of them. Which one of you would you have dated? Was the question. Yeah. <laughs> the answer was all of them. <laughs> uh, can I ask you really quickly about your uh, your charity work too? Because in addition to acting, you're I mean I know you're involved with the SPCA, you know the BC Women's Hospital. So can you talk a bit about your charity work? Well, I'm, I'm really, at, right now, the charity that I'm really wanting to get involved with is um, Dizzy Feet. Because I was on scholarship uh, my, my whole childhood. And, you know, my, my, my father also bartered for my lessons. And when, I remember I used to clean the studio and we painted the studio. So, so um, you know, at, at